to my channel. My name is Chanel and today we're going to do the day in the life of a teacher. If you're new here, I've been teaching for three years and we are finally near the end of the school year. We are so close to the last week of school and I'm just so excited. It is a Monday morning and as you can probably tell, I'm going to start getting ready. So I'm actually going to move the camera in just a little bit. And Monday mornings are always very stressful for me because I don't give myself enough time to get ready in the morning. and. I decided that I wanted to vlog this morning because I'm just so excited and I have not caught you guys up with like anything teaching related in such a long time. So there are so many things to be caught up on and I figured that would be the perfect time to just catch you all up. I actually just completed my last observation of the year and when I tell you that I was like sweating bullets trying to get that observation planned and sent, I mean I was literally sweating bullets. But I feel like the biggest thing I have to catch you up on is the fact that I took students abroad to Costa Rica this spring break. And if you were here on my channel since last year, you would know that at about March of 2022 I asked my principal if I could take students abroad and she said yes. The Board of Education said yes, the superintendent said yes, and we went to Costa Rica this year. Like That is so amazing to me. This was actually my first time in Costa Rica. I've been to other Spanish-speaking countries, such as Argentina, Ecuador, and Spain, but I've never been to Costa Rica, and I had a blast. Honestly, from beginning to end, everything went like perfectly fine, except the fact that when we were leaving the States to go to Costa Rica, American Airlines may have overbooked the flight for us and six of the people had to stay in the States while everyone else went to Costa Rica, but it was just for one night. But there was nothing I could have done about that. Like I have no control over American Airlines or them overbooking anything. And that was very difficult for me in the moment because all of the chaperones actually stayed in the States and I was the only chaperone who went with the students to Costa Rica. So for that first like 24 hours, I was just the only adult <laughs> with like 20 or so students in Costa Rica. Actually in total, there were 22 students and five adults who went. And honestly, it was so amazing. I had so much fun. And other than that, today, honestly, I have a busy day because I wasn't here on Friday. I took a nice little personal day. And I don't even want to say a nice little personal day. I took a personal day because I wanted to get my car fixed. My car has two flat tires at the moment. And you may be wondering, Chanel, how are you getting to work then? Well, my boyfriend is staying home today, so I'm actually going to take his car. But the problem with his car is that his brakes are not braking like they should, but we're going to be okay. I'm going to get new tires. I mean, they are bald. They are so incredibly flat, um, so I need to get them changed. Literally every single morning I've been waking up last week and I was going to the air pump to fill up the tires because they just couldn't hold in air <laughs> at all. It was really bad. But I took Friday off to get that fixed and who would have thought that when you schedule an appointment online, they just wouldn't be ready for you at the time of your appointment. So literally at like, nine o'clock, my appointment was supposed to be all set and ready to go and I was supposed to be able to get my car tires changed and they just couldn't get me in, but it's fine. So I'm gonna get them done today. I'm gonna take Michael's car and everything's gonna be okay. really warm out which I love don't get me wrong but I work in a district in which the AC still like is not working as it's supposed to they told us that we would be getting AC this year but now they're saying we're not supposed to be getting AC for like two more years but it's fine but the unfortunate part about that is the fact that I work on the second floor which is hard because the second floor is so hot so I actually got a few of these shirts they are so buttery soft and I love them so much like they're kind of professional, they're kind of cute, but I can also wear them out regardless of where I go. So these have become like my favorite shirt and it is now 6.38. I'm supposed to be leaving my house at like 6.45, that's ideal. But lately I haven't been leaving my house until like 6.55, which isn't bad. I still get to work on time, but I get to work at like 7.22 and school starts at 7.25 and I'm supposed to be in my classroom ready to go at 7.25. I've been pushing it this year. And now on a Monday morning, I'm like, let's vlog first thing in the morning. 
We'll see what time we leave today. I think I may have left it in Michael's car. Well, we'll see. <laughs> to even make myself more late today. I don't know where my giant water bottle is. This isn't the one I was looking for. This is like a smaller version, but my giant one, it's like 70 ounces. It keeps me hydrated for the whole day. I love it so much. I just don't know where it is right now, so we're gonna have to rock and roll with this one. So I don't eat breakfast in the morning because I don't have enough time, as you can tell. However though, I do bring my breakfast to work with me. Normally I'll have like a Velveeta soft bake. I love the banana bread ones, but lately I've also been loving the chocolate ones too. We just had banana bread today. I will eat these and the yogurt during like first or second period. And I'm sure my students come into class every single day and they're like, why is Miss Meyer eating breakfast once again? Can't she do that at home? Yes, I can, but that would mean that I'd have to wake up like 10 or 15 minutes earlier. But also like right now, I'm not hungry. But in an hour or two, I'll be hungry and I'll wanna eat breakfast. So we make it work. It is going to be so hot, muggy, and humid today. I can already feel it, but I wanted to take just a few moments this morning because I have the time to just step outside, breathe the fresh air, and just appreciate nature. It's something that I want to do so much more going into the summer and springtime. I don't even know if you can hear the birds, but they are so loud this morning. It's so beautiful. And ideally today, as long as my classes do everything that they need to do and get done, I love to take them outside too. So I will always say, hey, you got like 30 minutes to do this work. And if you get it all done and everyone cooperates and everyone Dissipates, that we can go outside on a walk or we could just have class outside today. You pick. And normally half of them will pick to go on the walk and the other half will pick to have class outside today. That reminds me that I actually need to pack sunscreen because if I'm taking six classes outside today, that means that I'm outside for like the entirety of the school day. So let's go get some sunscreen and head out for today. He got locked out of the house. There he is! There he is! There he is! I actually asked one time if I could bring Max to work and my principal actually said if he was a therapy dog that they could do something to bring him in and like I could bring him into work every day but it's so much work to have a dog be a therapy dog. I actually considered doing the whole entire process to have him be a therapy dog, like when I first got him two years ago, but the process and the training and the paperwork, it is so much, it's so intense, and I just didn't have the time. But now that my principal said that it could possibly be a thing and I could bring him into work every day, I may reconsider it. It's 6.45 and we're gonna leave on time today. on Michael's car, but they are so bad. The thing is though, he only wants to keep this car for another month, and he doesn't really want to change the brakes because he just wants to sell the car. But they sound like this, and he commutes to work, like almost every single day, he commutes like an hour to work sometimes, and I don't know if his car is gonna make it. I really don't know.
because my room gets so hot, I have to open up all the windows or else my room will actually be an oven in here. I was out on Friday, so that always means I have to go through whatever the subs left and I have to go through everything that the students left for their work and things like that. And I have to check all these emails. I took a personal day on Friday, like I mentioned, but sometimes taking a day off just costs so much extra work than to just come to school because when you come back, there is just so much to do and catch up on. This is the background I have on my computer screen. It's so cute, but we are officially ready to start the day. I just printed all of these out for one of my classes and I'm really excited to do this unit. It's about esports in Latin American countries and I think you're gonna love it. Other than that though, um, I do have to organize my desk. I do have to organize some papers. I still have to do a little bit of grading, unfortunately, because the day I was out was like the last day for students to turn in some of their final projects. We have officially made it through Monday and I can't tell you how happy I am to be done with the day because it was like 100 degrees in my room and no matter how much I had the windows open, no matter how comfortable I thought I dressed for the day, it was so hot all day. I just got back from the gym and the craziest thing happened to me. So every time I'm done with my gym workout, I go ahead and I wash my hands, obviously, right? I was washing my hands and I kid you not, the biggest bug in the whole entire world fell from the ceiling and like landed on my hands while I was washing my hands. I kid you not, like I freaked out in the gym bathroom. It was so embarrassing, but I'm so thankful that no one was there to see it because your girl freaked out. I do not like bugs. And then I looked up at the ceiling and there were just missing tiles all over the place. I'm thinking that maybe they were doing some construction, hopefully putting an AC in the gym because my gym is so hot. It's like 75-ish today, but I think it feels more like 80 with the humidity. And my gym was so hot, humid, and it's so gross because you can't open the windows in the gym. They just have the AC ducts that don't work and one giant fan that sometimes they decide to turn on and sometimes not. But I just ordered a new pair of American Eagle jeans. These are like the only pairs of jeans that I feel like actually fit me. I've heard very good things about the Abercrombie jeans, but I'm gonna be so incredibly honest. I have never bought a single thing from Abercrombie ever in my life, but the American Eagle jeans, if you search online or on their app, they always have like very, very good deals. Sometimes you can get a very good pair of jeans for like $30 and these are pretty good quality jeans. Every time I buy a pair, they last me forever. So they were running a sale and I got settled in to buy these jeans. So let's go ahead and try them on. So these are what the jeans look like. Honestly, I like the design a lot, but my problem is that they are way, way too tight. And I buy all of my American Eagle jeans in the same size as size eight. And these are the tightest fitting mom jeans that I have ever gotten ever. I love this design here with the rip in the knee, but like up here, it's not doing it for me. It feels so uncomfortable and it feels so tight. So I will be returning them. This is Max's chill spot. He loves the top of the couch so he can look over, look out the window, and look out the door. What's up guys? It's my day off. So that means I get to sleep in, relax, maybe watch something, binge a show on Netflix, maybe play a couple, no. Today, I have the pleasure to take Chanel's car to Midas. One of my greatest pleasures, honestly. I love Midas. But we're taking it to Midas today because her back tires are basically gone. She's basically driving on two wheels right now. And the back is just like, basically just like creating sparks. Her tires are so bad. She gets a low tire pressure signal like every single time she drives it. And I mean like every time. So if she drives someplace and fills it up, they'll be low by the time she gets out of whatever she's doing. So we're gonna get her tires replaced. 
that is what her tire looks like. So, on the left side, you can see, like, the, it's, the rubber is gone. You're down to, like, I think that's called, like, the tread. It's, like, layers of her tire. If you compare the right side of her tire to the left side of her tire, it's night and day. The other tire is like that, too. So, yeah, look, that looks terrible. So, yeah, her, her tires are on low pressure because... There's like all, there's pretty much holes on the inside of both her back tires. The rear suspension is like like pushing the metal down, so it's like pushing it's like pushing the, the tires like outward.